Claire from the Andy Griffith Show as the young lady, the, the young girl, the young sister among the Darlins. Her name is Charlene. So would you please welcome tonight Charlene Darlin. this was the cutest of all the darlings and she is a darling girl oh thank you hi maggie how are you hi ralph welcome to our show well thank you nice to be here how were you selected for the andy griffith show well um andy griffith and i um had the same manager and i was uh, singing in in scottsdale arizona and sheldon leonard happened to be going through and he was the producer he was the producer and he saw me singing at, in a hotel there and he asked for me to come and read for the part so that's how i did it okay what kind of singing were you doing well actually i, I sang sort of a dixieland with a group so a dixieland more of flavor yeah uh, well that's interesting because you didn't do any dixieland that i ever saw on the <laughs> andy griffith show no 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 we're a little uh further south than so what, that. So, when you, so he gave you the part, and what did he say to you when you came to the show? Did he tell you how you, you should play the character? Well, no, he, he doesn't, he didn't do that. He, it, it just sort of evolved. Of course, they had it in mind that she was, you know, in love with him and that sort of things, but uh, that sort of evolved. Uh, the, how did the Dillards get in, involved in this show? Well, the Dillards uh, left Missouri back in 1962 and hit Hollywood, and uh, a record company out there signed us to a record deal, and uh, they put a blurb in the Variety magazine about the Dillards signing a record deal. The Andy Griffith people saw that, asked us to come down to audition for the show, and after that, we got, we got it. Just like that? Just like that. It was like within two weeks. We thought everybody did that. You just went to Hollywood, and two weeks later, you're on the TV. <laughs> were, were, were there a lot of bands auditioning for this spot? Uh, not that I know of. There wasn't a whole lot of bluegrass on the West Coast at that point in time. Well, now, was the show already in production when they added the, the Darlings? That's right. They wanted a ranging, mountain-looking group, so we just happened to fit what they needed. <laughs> I don't know why. What was, what was the story about the, the wedding, the mountain wedding? Oh, the mountain wedding. Well, there, there was one point in the show where we're, all the Darlings were up in the cabin when Ernest T. was up trying to get Charlene. And we were all snoring in the cabin, right? When Andy and Barney were trying to sleep. And uh, the director got so cracked up that we had to shut down production for about an hour before we get started again. Andy and everybody cracked up. I never, Doug, never saw anything you like acting. that. He's like that all the time. I'm his brother. I know. I had to sleep in the same room with him for 20 years. All right. Now, did, was, uh, who were your boyfriends in this? 
Well, I was married to Dud Wash. Of course, everybody was in love with Charlene. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. You got well, it, you know, got I, it. I know, Ernest, I know Ernest T. Bass used to, Ernest T. Bass used to throw rocks at everybody, and he, he, he fell in love with you. Well, every, everyone but, did. But who did, you, who did you reject Ernest T. Bass for? Well, uh, I always loved Andy, and then, uh, and, and Dud Wash was my husband. Okay. So. Uh, was uh, Bob Denver ever in that? Well, actually, yes. He was one of, there were two characters that played Dud Wash. One was uh, Hoke Howell, and then also Bob Denver played the part. See, I don't remember seeing Bob Denver in this. Somebody told me this. Yes, he was. He was in, the, he was in that one in the cabin where everyone was snoring. <laughs> By the way, let me point something out, which, which is important to the Dillards. You have a band. That's correct. Your band is called? My band is called the Doug Dillard Band. All right, Rodney, what is your band called? The Dillards. And, uh, but, and, but, you, you, but you book out separately. There are two bands. Yeah. Uh -huh. and you only, actually, you only get together when we do these shows on Nashville Now. Yeah, and Christmas. I, Doug and I get together for Mom's sake. I see. <laughs> but we do. We, we're separate guys. And you make, you make records separately, right? Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> this portion of Nashville Now is brought to you. What? Oh. I'm looking for all this. Would you, would you hold this? Would you, would you hold it? Would you hold all that for me? Certainly. And, and that too. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I don't know where the Otis would be interested in this or not. Probably, probably would help him, though, to sober up. Anyway, this portion of Nashville Now is brought to you by Lipton. Lipton iced tea in cans and bottles. Sometimes you feel like a softer soft drink.